Welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today is that fun video because it's my birthday haul. It's uh, things that I did the week of my birthday. I had a good time guys. I did everything I wanted to do. I did the fun things that I haven't done in a while. And I shared most of it. So if you didn't watch, go watch my shorts. Which was fun because for 8 days I wore what I made. And you know I've been sewing and a lot of the times my clothes just go in the closet. So I made a commitment to wear my stuff even if it's going to be worn for two hours or one hour. Or you know just to go outside and do an errand. I was going to wear what I, I made. Including my pajama. I did all of that. Now there's a lot of stuff that happened. And along the way I picked up uh, some shoes. I picked up a... Um, some not a lot of stationery actually just two stationery item and there's tons of books there was also books sent to me when I got home so this is gonna be a little bit long I'm trying not to make it long a lot of these books I am not gonna go into it at all I'm just gonna show you the books that were sent to me because I really haven't looked at it to see what it's about and if I did this video would be way too long but I'm gonna start with the books because most of you guys are here for the books so it's going to it's going to start with the first gift that I got. When my friend pulled this out of his bag, I guess I was like, I did not expect. Not just I mean I knew it was going to be a book, but I didn't know it was going to be this kind of size book. But guys, <laughs> you see this? You see he did head. Um, if you are not familiar, she is considered the greatest costume designer. We're talking Breakfast at Tiffany. We're talking all of Hollywood movies and glam, Oscars party. The dresses, she made them. And I was like, just even the cover is just gorge. The entire book, like I've only flipped through it once because I did not want to take this with me on my vacation because... One thing about the book that I was a little bit not like a big fan of is that it had the dust jacket that most of these kind of coffee books, the dust jacket will be like solid, which I'll show you in another book. Um, but so I'm like delicate with it. Like I don't want, like I'm already annoyed with the bottom flipping already, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the, the gowns, you know, you got Elizabeth Taylor, you got all these amazing actors and actress and the clothes that she designed um, iconic she is very iconic and I was like here for it and this this was just this was a fave this was a fave I was just like wow I felt very special and I felt like this is the kind of gift I like when someone realized something that I would love and I absolutely love this book. And I can't wait to really like get inspiration for some of the things that she designed in here. So that, that's one. Then of course, if you watch my shorts, you know the other one, which is Anne Lowe. So I also got Anne Lowe. What I love is Anne Lowe didn't have that dust jacket issue. So as you can see, there's no dust jacket issue. So this I feel like it's it's going to be okay. I don't have to worry about the, the cover. But look, now if you watch all some of my shorts, you realize I did go to go see Enlo's dresses as well as Eden Head and a bunch of other people. But that entire wing of the Met is closed. And it's only, I believe, it's spring, summer kind of deal. I guess when close to when they had the gala and all that, that's when they would have that kind of area open. So I'm going to have to wait till next year. So I didn't get to see her stuff and I was disappointed. But I went through this. I looked. What I love is how they talk about preserving and the 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 good and you know the pros and the cons of how they had to find a way to preserve, especially Jackie Kennedy's wedding dress that she designed. Um, but in here also, I realized that they did was able to track down some of her other dresses that. Um, when I read her, you know, the story of her where it's believed to be missing. Some of those people did donate the dresses that she made over the years. So there's more dresses out there than what was believed to have been saved. So I am enjoying this. I'm doing a lot of reading on this one um, over my um, break. I 
literally went through this I love especially stuff like this when they actually show the inside of the dress um and you know how she put it together and the, the how it looks outside inside so finishing of inside a dress is a big deal um and i find that there's a little bit of subtle difference between those dresses of classic and now where the detail of inside is so much um um, looked into and how much people really go into making sure the inside of the dress looks very good even though no one's ever going to see it versus the classic because I looked at this and I'm like wow I'm not sure if modern dress would have been okay with some of how inside of the dress was looking but an outside the dress is gorgeous who cares right so yeah I am loving this one as well all right so let's go to the novel guys let's go to the novel so I went to Brooklyn Book Festival on the 1st so October 1 to the 8th, what stuff going on? And what I got was, so let me handle the books that I picked up then. So I got What Stopped by the Morning. So this is the book I'm currently reading. Um, I am fighting a reading slump. I am fighting a reading slump. I, I took the entire week off for, and I tried to read three books. I picked up three different books didn't get far far I just wanted to relax so I did a lot of blog posts so if you check out my blog I have a couple of posts on there um, and there's another blog post that I was working on which is a book series and I decided to wait till I read the last one to complete that post so that was fun and doing the research on that um, but this one I'm reading it is interesting it's not what I expected but at the same time it's like wow that kind of reaction I'm having to this um, then, of course, I saw Colson Whitehead, so I got the second book. Now, the first book, Harlem Shuffle, y'all know I was disappointed with that. So, this is supposed to be a spinoff from one of the characters. So, I'm going to give him another chance, you know, and he was there talking about this, and I said, all right, all right. He also signed it, so I was really, really happy about that, so he signed. And, of course, I got to take some pictures with him, so that was fun, too. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try the second one, y'all. But you know, I'm gonna be honest. Then I also saw Donna Hill, and that was so nice. Um, and I picked this book up because this is a book I saw so many people talked about, and she had two books out on the, and I, I decided this one would be the one. And she also signed, and I took some pictures with her as well. And some of these, oh, yeah, some of these I literally did not even look in the um to see what they wrote. I just they signed and that was it. So yeah, so that's one. And then this is a nonfiction, it's called the community. Um I I thought this was interesting, like I would I would want to add this to nonfiction November and it's short. So I also met the author for this one and this she's also under the same um publisher as Donna Hill. So this was pretty cool. The other books I got were freebies. Yeah, I think it's only two. And these are for now. So I really should attempt to read these now. Um, because, because look at the cover of this one. It's so cute. Because it is gothic horror kind of deal. That's what I'm getting from where the publisher was like, you know. Um, and I don't read a lot of these genres, but I feel like um, it would be cool to read at least this one because it's short for this um, time of the year, <laughs> you know, the Halloween thing. Um, I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might be wrong, but we'll, we'll see. I just have enough time to look at none of these books, guys. All right. Then I went to, on Tuesday, to see... Um, the Miss um, Sophia Sinclair, uh, How to Say Babylon. Got, I saw two different covers, but this cover is the bomb. I just love the locks and the scissors. Very symbolic. Very, uh, very, yeah, it made sense. And Miss Thing was, was, was fabulous too. Miss Thing was fabulous. And she came out, but I love the, the discussion. I love the chat that she, you know, how she talked about the book, her culture, her mother was there. So it was very sweet. And I got the book signed up for it as well. And she was, um, I got pictures with her, you know. She was not, and of course, as soon as she saw my name, she didn't even have to ask. She knew I was Jamaican. And she said, oh, and she's like, what part of Jamaica? She just, the part, because she was being proper at the discussion. But let me tell you, 
when she saw my name, the potter came out and I said, yeah, I'm my girl that. I'm my girl that. <laughs> um, so, I also have her poetry book, which I've been reading um, and absolutely love it. She did recite poetry. Um, and then on the cover inside the book is one of her poetry is literally on the cover of the book. And I thought that was a, a nice touch. Of course, the cover is nice. So, um, and oh, and this is actually very symbolic as well. What's it, what's on there? Um, so I I love that discussion, and I love her poetry. And you know, I got both signed. And again, didn't even look to see exactly what she put in there. What she signed? Oh, <laughs> from one Jamaica sister into another. I love that. Love that. She was sweet. I liked her. Um, so then, I did pick up this one as well. The Sergeant. Sar Sar this one is from, I think he won the, the Nobel Prize. Um, the Nobel Prize Award. Sorry, what am I saying? Um, and for literature. I did not read the other books, but I saw this and I was looking at the, the description of this and I was like, this is probably going to be a um, a soon read. I, I feel like I'm going to read this very soon. It just, it grabbed me. Um, again, this one is um, historical fiction because it's set in 1899. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get into this. Again, I will give you more detail what the book is about um, when I do the, start reading this and doing a reading vlog on it. Um, but, yeah. Just no. Just no. This is giving me fire. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, the Heaven and Earth Grocery Store. Now, this is an author that I read this year. I read one book, which is um, was one of the books that was selected out of the jar, the, the subscriber jar. Um, 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 Deacon, Deacon Khan. Deacon Khan. Deacon King Khan. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, this is new release, and I picked it up. We we, we gonna go with this <laughs> because the 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 kind of the title's a little it's a lot, but we we gonna we gonna go with this. So that is the last one. Now the other books I'm gonna show you. Let me go grab them because it's a lot. Were sent to me. <laughs> oh, so I, I, guys, I didn't even count, but it's a lot. These are all books that were sent to me. And one I read. So these are all debut. These are debut and it covers every genre we're talking. Um, they send me books that are historical. They send me books that are romance. They send me literary. They send me non-fiction. There's a lot of this is non-fiction. Um, sometimes they send me poetry. Sometimes it, it, it is all the only criteria is it was debut. So I'm just going to show you that. So we have this one. Um, this one's interesting. The case for cancer culture. Um, um, this is nonfiction. <laughs> uh, this one, look at the cover, guy. It's like smudged. This was pretty interesting. And who blurb? Oh, look at the blurb. Hmm. And then he sang a lullaby. Hmm. This, this might go to the side. This might go to the side. I'll read soon. Um, we have this one. A lot of nonfiction. This one. Now, I've never seen this one. Um, one Summer in Savannah. I am not familiar. Let me know if you guys have read this one. Um, and if I should read it soon. Let me know. They do send me a lot of athlete stuff. So this one is another. I like the cover because it's, 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 you know, it's not one with a dust jacket. It's painted on. Um, and I, they sent me some really cool one. Um, but this one's also interesting. It's very political. Of course, one of my favorite football players. Coach Prime. Coach Prime. 
and then of course they sent me this book which I already read so this is gonna go into some kind of corner and maybe a giveaway um, or something and I will put it in there but you know I already read this and that is the God of Good Looks um, this was the pick for June um, Caribbean um, group read um, but it's a debut so of course it was sent to me um, survivalist I don't know what this one's about but this one looks a little interesting look at the actual cover guys on this one that was pretty cool cover I like that and yeah I don't recognize anybody that loved that that um, this one how to strive how to strive in grad school as a person of color where, where, where was this when I was in grad school? But, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure about this book at all. But um, it's not relevant for me. But maybe somebody else want, might want to pick it up. Grad school was years ago. Um, uh, this one is stories of black women who fought to become physician. And from the Civil War to the 21st century. Um, twice as hard. So this one might be history. It's those who are into that kind of nonfiction that talks about stuff like this. Doctors and physicians might find this interesting. Mm. All right. So it's another nonfiction. American Family. Oh, Nikki Giovanni blurbed and and Saul William blurb. These are two poets, so we got some poetry in here or something? No, we don't. I don't see any. But, um, interesting. So those are all the books, as you can see. That was a lot. So, let's talk about stationery. The stationery, I did not pick a lot of stuff up. So for stationery, I got some washi tape that were the petal ones that peels off um, let's hope it's picking it up and I got a bunch of different colors so this is all the different colors and so I'm gonna use them soon and then I got a pen a fountain pen and I just wanted to give myself a fountain pen because I just want to. So I got a fountain pen that was a different color and nothing special really about the nib. It's not nothing special, but look how it comes into this beautiful um, this case. And ooh, let me flip it without. And let me take this out. But it comes into this beautiful case. But look at the color. I do not have any fountain pen this color. So that's what really drew me in at first. And it comes with some um, cartridge ink, three. And this is the pen. So I have it, open it to look at it. So let's see, is it a screw? It is a screw. Yes, it's a screw top. It comes with a converter, which is good. Um, Of course, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> no, it's a pop off. It's not a. It's a pop off, not a screw. And let's hope it shows up where you can see the nib. It is a medium nib. Um, it's actually pretty. It has like a signature on there, the actual nib. So, but I love. The color that's just so cute so I'm going to definitely do a reel using this fill it up and using it in one of my journal spread so get rid of this and put it back in the case I like the case it's cute so that is all I got for stationery now um, before I go into new stuff as far as the shoes I my co-worker <laughs> bought this bag to me Guys, it had a lot of fabric. I'm not going to even take the fabrics out. Um, except for one that I'm going to use for a coat. Look at this. 
she was um, also a seamstress for years and she gave it up and I wish I knew her before she gave up her sewing machines as well she said she gave them away so I was like oh. but she had other stuff that she said fabric and she knew I would use she also went to school for patent maiden making and she had her book still so she gave me her book and it went into detail and in how to cut how to measure all of that so I have been looking at this and I can't wait to dig in some more because this weekend I'm gonna make an outfit but I'm hacking up I'm hacking a pattern I have to make it so I'm going to be this is this really gonna help me doing that and she gave me this this is so cool because I only have the short version of this in plastic and to have this huge one is gonna be so helpful when you're doing certain kind of um, cutting and and um, shaping of certain areas so I'm here for this curve ruler so that's all I'm going to show you in the back other than that it's all fabric guys so I'm muslin because um, I need it when I'm doing um, some modification to see if the something's going to fit me instead of cutting in my nice fabric I use you can use these muslin to, to um, create something alright let's get to the shoes because it's quite a few my birthday shoes my <laughs> My birthday shoes. Let me tell you about the shoes. I did not realize how much I was going to love the shoes because I am, I haven't been wearing heel in so long. Like I wear heel, I feel like I wore heel this holiday, it's our birthday. Last time I wore, like, wore some heels was my birthday of last year. I have not. But I don't want any heel that's going to be killing me, that I'm going to struggle with, that's, I'm going to be in pain at the end of the night. I don't want that. This was no pain. This was no pain. This was, it says it's three and a half. It doesn't feel like three and a half. It really, it really feels shorter than that. But it's three and a half heel. And the color is gold, but with my dress, it, the color of my dress bounced off this, that this started looking like the exact shade of my dress, even though my dress was actually green. Um, so I'll pop a picture so you can see. But I love this heel. I love the slick back. So of course it's not going to flop off my feet. And I love that it's in between, that I can get away with this even when the cold season, you know, when December comes. I can get away with this, depends on what I'm wearing and how long my my, my stuff is. So um, so I can get away with this because, like I said, it was it was kind of cold my birthday night um, and windy and didn't feel it in my feet. So love this. So, of course, I had to get in the black, but not realizing I was going to love it even more. This is a satin finish guys this I think this is just so sexy this is so sexy this is a satin finish and I I wore this with my suit the the two-piece um outfit which I you know I don't think it was the greatest with that outfit because I feel like that pants is like so wide that I would have been a platform shoe would have been better but this is what I had but this is going to be so nice with some denim and a nice top that just the basic but this shoes love this I don't know if you guys are into stuff like this but this was just yes for me and I loved it so then I got it in the silver which I haven't worn yet so I wore the black and the gold but not the silver the silver is a little different it cuts different so I'm not sure how this is going to be comfort this is almost four inches I think this was like 3.75 kind of height um, but at the same time, I love the sling back. I love the, the color because, you know, this is the color of the season where, you know, Beyonce had everybody. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to wearing this. I want to wear it. J j look, I, I learned my lesson this year that I am going to dress myself and go. You have to go to dinner alone, which, which you know, I really don't have to, but yeah. <laughs> so then I got these other comfy shoes. And I got these not realizing, I just like, I just liked it and not realizing how many compliments I would get for wearing these. I wore these maybe three times now. My mother snuck and wore these while I was in New York. She saw them and she just put them on. I'm in the cab with, you know, in the Uber with her like, that's my shoes you got on, you know. But this is comfy and cute and, you know, I love that it had the platform. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Um, I love that it has a platform and it's fun. So I've worn this a couple of times and it is a good buy. It's a good, of course you can see it's a dupe 
for something else. But I don't care. It was fun. Love it. Um, then this other shoes I haven't worn yet, which I got. And this is very classic loaf. Not loaf, but I don't even know what to call this. But as you can see, um, but I've worn this, but I'm going to probably wear them next week, um, to work and stuff. But love the heel again. I'm, I'm a fan of chunky heel. They just comfy. And then the last shoes is a boot that I haven't worn yet. And these are these brown boots. And the heel again is not that high. So I can really wear this. It's, it's so soft. It's soft. So soft. So as soon as the weather gets a little colder, I will be stomping in these suckers. <laughs> um, I like it, except for, you know, I'm not a big climbing into boots, but I'm reclining these boots. <laughs> so, and they're brown. And um, so I have a lot of black boots, even though I think I should get another black boot because. But yeah. Alright, so that is all that I got and picked up. Um, check out these my vlog. Um, I have uh, the Brooklyn Book Festival one. Um, and my four years of daily journaling. And of course the wrap up. I And the shorts. I, the shorts were fun. And thanks for the feedback of people saying keep doing them. And I think I'm going to. I think as I make things, I'm going to wear them and just you know show me actually wearing my stuff and I learn a lot about wearing my stuff do I like it does it fit right do I want to change anything about it as I'm wearing it because it's different when you look at it on the mannequin versus like me wearing it and being out out in the world in these things that I create so I am going to um keep it up and yeah so thanks for watching guys this was fun this was fun it's always fun showing the goodies and I will see you guys in the next one.